kind of like a special little few moments in my homeschool journey. And that is because I did it. I did it. I found a curriculum that I happened to think might work for us, might work well for us, and I did it. I'm actually using a curriculum at the moment. Well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> um, you guys know I already planned out my year and I'm very happy with that and the addition of this curriculum into our plans has not changed or bothered my plans at all. So I think I want to start by saying that first. Um, the way that I plan this year is by goals. Um, I started off planning by goals last year to give it a try and it really worked well for us and this year I want to really you know just go for that again so I still planned out my year by goals on Evernote in my Evernote planner for homeschool and then I took the resources that I was going to use to help me achieve those goals and I basically took the time frame about you know the roundabout time frame that we would be doing school and I divided it up to create little you know, sections that I could gauge my progress with. So that is how I laid out my year. It is wonderful for me because it is extremely flexible and I just, I don't know, I can't really stress enough how much the way I have planned this year really lends itself to the way that we do school, which is really flexible, um, really spirit-led. Um, I just don't want to be stuck to any one plan, but I do want to have a plan. And so when I came across this uh, curriculum, I had already had my plans all set out and was doing fine with them. If you watched some of those videos, then you'll know that I took um, some of the scope and sequence of the curriculum that was used to build Time for Learning, which is an online um, curriculum. And it was not perfect. It was actually far from perfect, but it was, you know, it was helpful to me when I needed it. We used Time for Learning probably about less than 20% of our homeschool. However, it was there to fill in some of the gaps and it just made me feel a little bit more confident in homeschooling just having it. And so that is um, why I used it and how I used it. I used it very loosely, very lightly, um, and just for a little bit of guidance along the way. I've noticed that as I move along in the years, my confidence grows and I'm able to enjoy more of it. When I first started um, researching curriculum, I could just tell that it didn't sit well with me I'm um, having to read through instructions and um, having to teach certain things a certain way so it was just never a good fit and then when I found something that maybe you know might have been a similar fit I just knew that I wanted that um, that electronic component um, the ability to not have to print out a bunch of stuff and complete a bunch of worksheets all the time we do um, complete worksheets from time to time but for the most part, it just didn't sit right with me, if that makes any sense. <laughs> One of my subscribers um, actually left a comment that was saying that the curriculum that she used was actually available in PDF format. So when she mentioned that in um, one of the comments, she uh, mentioned that she used the good and the beautiful curriculum. Yes, I've heard about it before, but because I had decided to stick to my no set curriculum, I just wanted to be content with where I was, and so I kind of stayed in that lane. I had stumbled upon it as far as history was concerned because I was looking around for a history curriculum, because you guys know that that's probably the area that I have the least amount of confidence in teaching. But in the meantime, I had already decided that I was just going to use some of the Who Was books and some living books, and then we were going to use a timeline, which I'm really excited because that has evolved, and I will share that with you in another video. That was where I first learned about The Good and the Beautiful, was looking for the history curriculum. And then um, when she mentioned that the curriculum she was using, which was The Good and the Beautiful, was available in PDF format, I was like, hmm, let me go see. So I went back and revisited, and then I realized that all of the language arts um, version of the curriculum is available for free um, to download in P PDF format and print out yourself and bind and use. 
And I thought that was number one, extremely generous. <laughs> because it's not that you need to have everything for free in the homeschool world. I'm more than willing to pay um, for things, but it's just a really slippery slope that you go down when you start homeschooling and you feel like you need to have um, X, Y, and Z and you spend your money on that thing and it doesn't even work for you in your homeschool. And that is the hard place you end up being in. And or the only set curriculum that I had purchased before was my father's world curriculum for the first grade. And it was a complete fail. Well, maybe not a complete fail because I still ended up using a lot of the resources from the curriculum, but I definitely did not follow it at all. Um, it just was not a good fit for us. Um, I'm not saying it's a horrible curriculum at all. It just didn't work for us. And then I ended up spending that 200 plus dollars for a curriculum that I started to feel the pressure like I had to follow this curriculum because I spent 200 plus dollars on it. Um, and that was a really hard place to be in and added a lot of extra stress on me that I didn't need. And I very quickly just decided to let it all go and go back to how I was planning and doing school in the first place with no set curriculum. Another part of that is that they they didn't have a um, PDF format. And one of the major problems in using set curriculums, the whole issue is that I was having a lot of trouble putting each of my children into a grade level. Um, they function very differently in different subjects at different grade levels. And so when I ended up purchasing the first grade curriculum, it was the re a lot of the reason why it was not a good fit other than the fact that I am a very creative brain and have a hard time following set instructions and plans that are not my own. It just didn't fit. It was too um, far below the level that they were at. And another one of the issues that I had is that I had a child in, in particular who was far advanced in a lot of different areas, but still four or however old, you know, they were. Does that make any sense? So it was just really difficult. My one son in particular has an extremely advanced vocabulary, but he's still five, you know, and I was just like, how do you get a curriculum that is going to do language arts and do it with words that are far beneath the level that he needs to be on? but I can't go levels up because he's still five, you know? So I really, really struggled with that. It's really one of those things that just really drove me quite mad sometimes, <laughs> which is why using a lot of apps, um, applications and online programs and things that I piece together fit better for us because I was able to cater specifically to each child's needs and their level, um, but still still be it would still be a good fit for their age so anyway i know this is going really round and about but i came across the good and beautiful the good and the beautiful and they had the language arts curriculum that was available for free download which was perfect for me because it gave me the opportunity to try it and to see how it would fit into our school so i went ahead and downloaded the language arts curriculum. Now, I will go into further detail when I talk about it in later videos, but for the most part, they have a, um, a test that you can start with to help give you a guide as to where you might want to start your child. And we started breezing through the curriculum and they actually really enjoyed it and we were able to download it onto our Notability app and complete the worksheets on our iPad. It was just a perfect fit, like a perfect fit. And we didn't have to follow everything to the T. Um, we could skip around in lessons because the way that the um, curriculum is laid out it lends itself so much to flexibility in homeschool. I used it for several weeks um, before I really started to you know, wrap my mind around what I thought about this curriculum. I decided to go ahead and look a little bit further into the history. I'm still going along with my plan for history, you know, but I was like, let me just go ahead and look at the history because I think this is definitely something that um, I want to do. And I was pretty much sold 
from there. So then I decided to go ahead and reach out to her, to Jenny, over at The Good and the Beautiful to see if um, she would be open to me reviewing or seeing or documenting how the curriculum fit in our school days. And she was really, really gracious about letting me try out the curriculum and, um, and review it and tell the story of how it's fitting into our days. So I am extremely excited and I'm excited to show you how the curriculum is fitting um, into our homeschool days. I do not plan on using everything from cover to cover necessarily, but if it ends up working out that way, I'm completely open to that because so far um, I think it's a beautiful curriculum and I, I can't wait to just get into the pieces and share what's working and what may not be working out so well. Being able to have PDF versions that we can then complete on our iPads is amazing. I also feel like I'm helping the environment, <laughs> okay, by not having to print out so many pieces of paper I'm just gonna basically do an unboxing kind of sort of even though I already took everything oh it's so heavy you guys um, I already took everything out of the box but I'm basically gonna show you what I did get and I will talk in future videos about why I chose um, certain things and how it's fitting in um, I did get a lot of the physical forms of the curriculum. I wanted to be able to show uh, physically in these videos what you might get if you chose this option in the physical form. And I also wanted to try it out. Um, there were certain things I feel like in physical form might be a good fit for us. And so if it is, I want to use that as well. Um, with Savannah, she needs a lot more physical things because she likes a lot more mommy time. So I figured I'd go ahead and get the physical form. Um, of the pre-k and kindergarten and also like the writing um, I thought that would be great to use in physical form of course um, we do a lot of I've had this question quite often before um, about writing practice on the iPad they do a lot of letter formation and writing practice on the iPad however they write a lot in real life um, on real paper with real pencils and real pens uh, I have seen no issue with them making the adjustment from letter formation on the iPad to letter formation on their paper and in their notebooks. Anyway, this is just going to kind of be my little unboxing of the Good and the Beautiful curriculum that I have received and I'm going to um, document how it's fitting into our homeschool. So what I did get was this is the History Year One course book along with the um, big book of history that includes maps and images, year one. This also went with year one. The keys of history game, this is year one as well. I also have year two. So this is year two's history course book. And then this is year two's maps and images. And then it also came with, which I love, <laughs> a timeline and then it has some stickers that goes along with it and I will share you know more in depth the bits and pieces to each part of the curriculum that I received in future videos it came with an explorer and settlers history card game I do know that Jane from the Salty Tribe here on YouTube, um, I recently found her and she does have curriculum reviews for the Good and the Beautiful for history. Um, I think she also has for language arts as well. Um, she has really wonderful um, review videos on those. So I would highly suggest you check them out if you haven't already. The next thing I got was the pre-K course book. These are the cards that come with the course book, the activity packet for the pre-K course. So along with the activity packet, this is the pre-K alphabet flip book. This is the level K course book. And this is the kindergarten mini books and the phonics cards. And I think the last part of the K, level K is the level K reader. So this is the level K reader. Now I have everything also in PDF form and downloaded onto our Notability app. 
So there are the majority of things that we're using in the curriculum, I may have mentioned this before, but the majority of the things that we're using in the curriculum are going to be on our iPads, but there are certain things that we are going to use in physical form. And I love that I'm able to do that. We got the language arts um, level three course book. Along with the level three comes the volume two reader. So I have that. And then also the flashcards for level three. And then I have the course companion for level three. And like I said, these are all downloaded on our Notability app inside of our iPad as well. I went ahead and got level four as well. I am thinking that my middle son, Kendall, who is six, is going to be on level four fairly soon. So we'll see how that goes. And like I said, I'm just going to document more of how it's working out and um, what we end up using. This is the Language Arts and Literature Level 4, Part 1 of the course book. And this is the um, Level 4, Part 2 course book. This is the Geography and Grammar cards. Um, the next thing I got was the handwriting books. I started with Level 1 for Savannah. This is the handwriting Level 1 book. And like I said, I'm not going to get too in-depth into what the insides look like right now because I'm going to show you in future videos. The Level 3 for my son Kendall because while his vocabulary is probably on a 7th or 8th grade <laughs> or ninth grade level, his handwriting however is not. So we're working on it. And then I got level 4 for Cameron because Cameron's handwriting is exceptional and he is moving on to um, cursive writing. So I thought the level four was a better fit for him. I also decided to get the nature notebook. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to end up using this. I'm not sure if we're going to use this in physical format or um, use them on the iPad. I'm thinking on the iPad, which is why I only got one. So this is really nice because um, I can get this for my oldest to complete but if my youngest wants to be involved I can have the PDF version so that she can complete it but obviously she's not really really doing the work because she's four you know <laughs> I mean I guess she's doing the work but I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say sometimes these videos are hard to make because you feel like you need to be able to say things a certain way or sound super intelligent and I'm just going to tell you I'm not the most intelligent person in the world I'm not but um, I'm their mama and I'm navigating through this and I'm doing the best that I can. So this is a very real perspective from a very real mama who does not know everything and who is enjoying learning with them. So I just had to get that out of the way because in your head you just start to feel like, ah, oh, I must sound completely crazy and I've said this way too many times. I hope you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. So I'll probably say that 18,000 more times, but oh well. And then the last one I got was the Creative Companion, Writing, Art, and Geography for use with the Level 4 course readers. Now this is the last stack of things that I got, and I'm actually very, very excited about it. I wanted to give them a try. These are their unit studies. Um, I actually think I got every one that was available. Um, I think that they have scheduled for the body unit to come out fairly soon, which I'm definitely going to get um, <laughs> because that is our next unit. But I think it's quite interesting because I've done quite a bit of flipping through um, at least this one, the Space Science, the Wonders of the Universe, the unit study for grades K through 6. I love how there's like little confirmation. Um, from the Lord um, when I'm moving forward in homeschool that I'm doing things right <laughs> or on the right path because one of the things that I had thought about when I was planning this year and planning in goals I'm like Lord is this right am I doing this the right way for us one of the things that I had thought about was that we lay out unit studies and every year we do the same unit study because every year you revisit it and you learn a little bit more and then you learn a little bit more and then you learn a little bit more so um, I thought it was just really sweet like a little tiny bit of confirmation for me that they do their unit studies. Um, this goes from grades K through 6, um, which meant that I was kind of on the right path, you know, that each year we revisit the unit study and we learn a little bit more every year. 
So we are just finishing up our space unit. And when I did my flip through of this unit study, a lot of the things that are in here and the way that they're in here, I have covered in a very similar way. And to me, that was like major confirmation that I'm on the right path with this curriculum. I'm really excited to try this curriculum as a whole. Um, meaning that I am trying the different parts, the unit studies, the language arts, the history, and I really am interested in following our journey with this curriculum and how it fits into our homeschool as a whole. So I got the space science. I also got the arthropods, insects, spiders, and crustaceans. I got water, our world, energy, heat, light, and sound. Like I said, I basically got every one of them except for the ones that weren't out yet. <laughs> I got Introduction to Energy. And then the last one I got is Meteorology, um, Weather, and the Atmosphere. So I'm really excited about everything that we've received and I'm excited to try to incorporate it into our goals. I can just go ahead and include them into what I already have planned for our goals. And hopefully I'll be able to show you more of what I mean by that in future videos as we go along and document this year. So yeah, that is everything. Um, I thought this was going to be short and sweet. It was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be but <laughs> what are you gonna do? I am super, super grateful to Jenny and the Good and the Beautiful for allowing me to review these items. When I first started my channel, obviously you think about some of the, um, some of the perks of having a channel, being able to um, review different curriculums and things, and I've shied away from that. I've had um, a few offers, and I didn't wanna go that route because I knew the curriculum, that curriculum was not a good fit for us. So I just stuck with it the way that that, um, I knew it was working out best for us and when I came across the good and the beautiful curriculum um, the way that it was laid out and the ability for me to be able to try it out with the language arts programs I was really really impressed and so that is why I have decided to try it out and see how I'm able to incorporate it into our year's studies and I hope you come along for the ride so we'll see how it goes hopefully I can show you more in depth how we are using it um, how we are adding it to our plans and how things are working out it's going to be an honest review and like I said I'm not using it from cover to cover at least that's not my intention now if I end up using it from cover to cover then wonderful if it works out well for us hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in our next video bye why do I always say bye like that <laughs> bye <laughs> Oh, videos are a lot harder than they look, you guys. Just so you know. <laughs>